Humans meaningfully coordinate between two arms to accomplish numerous bimanual tasks. Much of this coordination takes the shape of stabilizing with one arm and then acting with the other in this simplified environment. In this work, we formalize that insight into a framework for bimanual robotic manipulation and instantiate it with BUDS, which stabilizes by holding a learn point stationary and adjusting throughout task execution. Controlling a bimanual robot presents a challenge due to the higher dimensional control space. Collecting meaningful exploration data is difficult because only a small subset of actions represent successfully coordinated behaviors. However, providing demonstrations is also challenging due to this higher dimensional control space and often requires specialized hardware or multiple demonstrators. We observe that a variety of bimanual tasks utilize a shared coordination paradigm. One arm stabilizes objects in the environment while the other acts to complete the task. Our key insight is that for a variety of bimanual tasks, each arm follows one of two roles. A stabilizing arm stabilizes an object to simplify the environment for an acting arm to perform the task. Given a bimanual robot, we start by assigning a role to each arm as either stabilizing or acting, where the stabilizing arm holds a point stationary while an acting arm acts in the simplified environment. Here, the stabilizing arm aims to hold this vegetable stationary while the acting arm makes the cut. We instantiate this role assignment framework with BUDS, Bimanual Dexterity from Stabilization. BUDS learns to perform bimanual tasks from scratch by separating the problem into two subproblems: how to stabilize and how to act, which combine to form a bimanual policy. BUDS begins by learning a stabilizing position to hold stationary from an overhead image observation. This stabilizing position model outputs a stabilizing key point, W hat S, visualized here as a point to grasp on the zucchini. This model is instantiated with a ResNet architecture and is trained on 30 hand-labeled image key point pairs. Next, the stabilizing arm should hold this point stationary with a non-compliant controller, which outputs actions that hold the stabilizing key point, W hat S, stationary in preparation for the acting arm to act. Now we turn to the acting policy, which learns to act with a BCRNN architecture and trained on 20 expert demonstrations collected in a stable, stationary environment to bring down sample complexity. Here, the policy learns to make a cut on the zucchini. Together, these two policies output actions that comprise a bimanual policy for a single time step. Now we ask, what if the zucchini slips from our grasp during cutting? What if we want to make many cuts on the zucchini moving up the length of the vegetable? We need some form of feedback for our stabilizing policy. Thus, we close the loop with one last model, a restabilizing classifier that determines when the current stabilizing key point is no longer effective and needs updating. At each time step, the classifier outputs a binary classification given an input image observation. Zero indicates the stabilizing key point is still valid and the acting policy should continue acting. One indicates a new key point should be sensed. In this way, we can update our stabilizing key point over time. In practice, this classifier is also instantiated with a ResNet architecture and is trained on expert labeled images from 20 rollouts. For final task execution, BUDS first senses a stabilizing key point using the Learn Stabilizing Position model with an overhead image as input. Then, BUDS rolls out the learned acting policy while holding the stabilizing point stationary. While acting, BUDS uses the restabilizing classifier to check if the acting policy should continue acting or if a new stabilizing position is needed. When indicated by the restabilizing classifier, a new stabilizing key point is sensed and the process repeats. BUDS continues alternating between the two policies until the task is complete. We present results using two UR16E arms to perform a set of four diverse bimanual tasks that require dexterous manipulation and precise stabilizing. BUDS achieves a 76.9% success rate on these four tasks, with the majority of failures stemming from an imprecise acting policy. This is due to the high precision policy being trained on only 20 demonstrations.
Buds outperforms a BC stabilizer baseline that replaces the stabilizing key point model with a policy trained via imitation learning on 20 demonstrations by 56%. This baseline is unable to learn both where to stabilize on the object as well as a policy to move to this point in such a low data regime. We further stress test buds on generalizing to completely unseen objects, which we classify as easy or hard based on visual similarity to the training object. Here, we show generalization to novel jackets of different fabric, zipper material, and zipper shape. BUDS achieves a 52.7% success rate in these novel settings. Here, BUDS is trained on capping Crayola markers, but is able to generalize to capping Expo and ReadyMark markers as well. Lastly, we present experiments on cutting different vegetables. BUDS is trained to cut a jalapeno and generalizes to a zucchini and celery, which is extremely fibrous and difficult to cut. In conclusion, we present a stabilizing role assignment framework for bimanual manipulation, along with an instantiation of this framework, BUDS. BUDS achieves a 76.9% success rate on a wide, diverse collection of dexterous and precise bimanual tasks. In the future, we hope to extend BUDS to consider more complex tasks by incorporating object-centric representations and other sensing modalities.